Hello again to Station Years News. It's 2024, June the 4th, and we have uh, a few small but interesting items on the menu. Some of you might not even know this, besides normal pipes and insulated pipes, we also have the adhesive insulation, which looks a bit like mattresses for, you for music festivals, allowing you to insulate pipes after the fact, if you're holding a wrench in the other hand, and I mean the other hand. Starting today on better, you can now also insulate passive vents after the fact. Why do we even have these? Because different from active vents, passive vents have an atmosphere and so they can bleed thermal energy through the wall, just like these uninsulated pipes. Keep that in mind. Well, and some might not even know that you can change the field of view in the game with hotkeys and reset to the default that you set in the settings. These hotkeys also worked in the main menu, turning the nice uh, title screen animation into some kind of weird stagey arena. Well, that's no longer possible. So, new world. Now we have the starting conditions. You already saw those because you're watching the news, right? This looks slightly different now. You can hover here and you see what's in there. Uh, but weird, we don't have starting conditions for everything yet. Of course, it's understandable. It's better. For example, if you look at, actually, for example, it's the only thing, I think. Asteroid belt, we don't have anything here. And so whatever you selected last will be there. For example, Vulcan. Nice, huh? Construction supplies Vulcan in space. <laughs> okay, let's make a normal moon start because there's more on the menu. Moon! <clears throat> No, I'm in a hole. The lander capsule now has some storage slots. And there's actually something in it. Water bottles, four, and cereal bars. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you don't get your other cereal bars. But, um, I mean, it's still uh, in flux, so it, this, this might be changing. Supposedly, now in Europa, the brutal start conditions also have a wind turbine. But when I look here, I don't see it. Maybe it's just the menu that's not up to date? Indeed. But no need to call them on uh, this because, um, I mean, everything's in flux and I believe they will do a review of whatever's written there once they have settled on some starting conditions. One upright wind turbine, solar panel, Battery charger small, battery active vent, yeah. And of course the essential production package. New thing, a window shutter with controller. Supposedly the shutters are synchronized. Uh, that's the shutter and that's the controller. Window shutter, window controller. Can I replace the controller on the wall? Yes I can and it needs power. Mm -hmm. We need a cable coil to continue construction. Then a plastic sheet. And afterwards even some glass sheets. Hmm, since they need glass sheets, I think they are not just shutters, they are windows with shutters. For demonstration purposes I just flipped one of them around. Now, now, now let's turn this thing on. Okay, this might be a bug because this only happens on first start. What is it? Oh, it reacts to me touching this when it's off and then it executes that when it's on. I wonder, will it flip that twice? Click, click. Oh, indeed. So you can operate this while it's off, but it doesn't execute the action. So this is what this thing does. Just needs to be adjacent. Then you have windows that you can close. And I assume that it will be uh, tied for sunlight. Hmm, let's find out. Damn, this mountain is in the way of the test. Hmm. Well, it has to go then. Huh. 
Huh. It it's not even the sun. Is it the double glass? Weird. Or hasn't it yet caught up to the fact that the hill is kinda no longer there? Hmm. Reloading didn't do anything. So what about dismantling then? Yeah, like that. Huh. Nope. So was it maybe the mountain? Huh. Well, I have to know. Nope. However, this is just a glass window here. What's going on there, man? I don't get it. Unclear. The window shutter itself doesn't have any logic, it appears. But the controller has the most basic stuff. Lock, at least, and open. And finally, uh, rem remember the news bulletin about the portable AC? Which now has a canister slot for cooling. Its uh, temperature, temperature range has now been expanded. In the news bulletin uh, we had the problem that there was an error. Um, but the, it turned out that the error was because the range uh, of the portable AC is only minus 10 degrees to 30 degrees. Since we already had 30 degrees in here, nothing was happening. But now it has been expanded to 50 degrees. So this thing should now be heating the room. Can't say that I'm feeling it, but... Um, is there some kind of wind thingy going on here? Oh, right. Maybe I should turn off the power low. Vent here. So something happening or not? 30.8 degrees. Maybe the test was not optimal. Let's try this then. Uh. Okay, it works. Pretty sure that's the that's the thingy. Yep. And with that, I bid you uh, farewell for today.